Good evening, Michael Sussman from Chester. I'm here tonight as a constitutional lawyer who has spent nearly 40 years practicing and studying constitutional law. I represented dissidents in Curious Joel between 1990 and 2011 in untold struggles for more than 20 years. In 1997, a federal judge asked me whether my clients wanted an order dissolving the village of Curious Joel because the proofs before him so clearly established that the village of Curious Joel was a theocracy. That is, a government controlled by a majority religious faction and its grand rabbi, and antithetical both to anyone else, particularly those Satmars who did not accept one anointed successor to Grand Rabbi Joel's authority. Creating a village or town for a particular religious group violates one of the most fundamental principles which binds us, the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. Creating a new religious town echoes the terrible precedent set 40 years ago when the village was carved out of the town of Monroe, to wit, that the state may and should create separate juridical subdivisions on the basis of religion or race or any other such characteristic. When I say precedent, I mean this. Next year, African Americans from Newburgh, Latinos from Middletown could assert their preference, or perhaps their right, based on this example to set up a separate community where they have hegemony. Perhaps white families, concerned about increasing minority population in some area of our county, could petition their own, for their own community. This factionalization is precisely what our founders railed against in the Federalist Papers, and indeed explains why the Establishment Clause exists. I have no doubt that the parties to this agreement under discussion and this particular referendum have reasons for separation. You just heard some of them. But these preferences, however valid, countervail our constitutional order and all hope for an integrated future in which each person, man, woman, child, is valued for who she is, not primarily identified by religion or race. And that, make no mistake about it, is the American dream we can share. Tonight, we must provoke several things. Curious Joel yeshivas follow education law and provide three hours of secular education to their students. Their young must be exposed to and allowed to understand the broader ways of life of their neighbors and fellow residents. Curious Joel's neighbors recognize the town of Monroe may have a religious majority, but that does not foreclose dialogue, coexistence, and does not justify a further sanctioning of state-created separation. And that the new town should not be created he is doing so establishes a state religion in a state-sponsored, state-created jurisdiction, which is blatantly unconstitutional. Thank you.